You wanted my two ingredient donuts in an air fryer and you wanted churros. So I thought we could make this amazing mashup of churros and donuts. These are super soft and fluffy on the inside, just like donuts, but with a slight crisp on the outside, just like churros. Toss these in cinnamon sugar, coat these in chocolate, and you got right there the most amazing mashup churro donut. In a big bowl, you're going to combine together self-rising flour and yogurt. If you don't have self-rising flour, check the description box. You'll find substitutes and, of course, the recipe for these donuts. Now let's talk yogurt. The yogurt you decide to use is up to you. However, you will need sweetened yogurt for this recipe. The sugar and the yogurt will help these donuts develop color. Because these donuts are made in an air fryer, they're not going to have that homogenous browning that's so characteristic of deep fried donuts. So the sugar will help with the browning, partially. If you only have Greek yogurt on hand, that's okay. Just add a tablespoon of sugar to the dough. You're going to bring this dough together with your hands and with the help of a dough scraper. If the dough starts to stick to the board instead of adding flour i personally like to add a teaspoon of oil we really want to keep this dough as soft and supple as possible if you're new to my channel hello there welcome make sure to subscribe and click that bell i post new videos every week once your dough comes together you're going to form sort of a meatloaf kind of shape and you're going to divide this dough in half or three pieces i divided mine into three because i did double this recipe you're going to cover with plastic wrap the doughs you won't be using right away this will prevent the dough from drying out. So you're going to take each piece of dough and roll it into a long shape, a long log. This is the easiest way to shape these donuts. I feel like I'm making pasta here or gnocchi. The method is very similar. Long rope, take a bench scraper and cut out the donuts. Now you can air fry these as is. However, because these aren't deep fried like my other two ingredient donuts, they're not going to get that roundness and plumpness as deep fried donuts do. They need that extra manual help. So roll these into little balls and you're good to go. Now, by no means do you have to be super precise here. For reference, my dough balls weigh around 9 to 10 grams. The only reason I'm saying this is because if your donuts are smaller or bigger than mine, cooking time may vary. So for best results, try to make these roughly the same size and, and I would aim, you know, between 9 to 10 grams grams. I'm making this sound so complicated. It's really not. This is probably the most annoying part of this recipe. That is, if you don't like shaping dough balls. However, three hours later, you should be done. I'm joking. It's not going to take three hours. <laughs> I, I hope not, at least for you. In a tray, you're going to melt down some butter and toss the donuts in that butter. Now listen, the butter is not optional here, okay? It's going to add flavor. It's going to add color and give these a nice texture. So yes, the butter is a must. We're going to air fry these babies in a preheated air fryer at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to preheat the air fryer, you know, for a good five minutes at least. Try to not overcrowd these when you put these in the pan and make sure that basket is well greased so the donuts don't stick. You're going to cook these anywhere between four to five minutes. This will really depend on your air fryer. Now these will not brown evenly. I just want to put that out there because you may be tempted to cook these longer, but if you cook these longer, they won't be fluffy. You're going to coat these in some melted butter. The butter's there not only for for flavor but also so the cinnamon sugar has something to stick to. These remind me a lot of Auntie Anne's cinnamon pretzel bites. If you've ever had those you know what I'm talking about. These are so soft and fluffy. No fuzz. No big pan of oil involved. No. Super simple to make. These are truly donut snacks that anybody can make and I'm telling you right here these are unbelievably good. Hypnotized.